Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If I sound nasally and my voice starts croaking, please pardon me, I happen to have caught a cold because Nairobi has been super cold, super rainy and wet lately and my body just couldn't fight it and gave in to the common cold. So I'm sorry in advance. But for today's video, I am going to be sharing a massive haul. It's going to be fashion, beauty, tech, homeware, um, so a lot of different things that I've never done before but I'm excited to share. So I ran out of my cleanser. Um, about a week ago and I just so happened to be at Westgate and at the store called Medora which is where I picked up the Chanel cleanser and this is a foaming gel cleanser for purity and anti-pollution. It's actually been working pretty well on my skin. It's really gentle and mild. It doesn't make me feel like my skin has lost all the moisture and it's completely just ashy and dry. And while I was there, um, oh actually before we get into this, I also picked up these masks. Now I have really been loving masks lately because I just think it's such a fun like pamper session for yourself. Above, you know, over and above the fact that it actually is great for your skin if you get the right one, I actually think it's really great to just put a mask on and feel like you've given yourself some spa-like treatment. And so I got these three masks by Beauty Success and one is for um, purity for combination oily skin, a moisturizing mask for dehydrated skin, and an energizing one for all skin types. And they were only, I think, a couple hundred shillings each, and again, it was from Medora. And I'm yet to try it out, but I'm really excited for my little pamper sessions. And so while I was there, um, they were so kind, they actually gave me these uh, Clarence products for free. So one is a super restorative neck concentrate and another one is a day moisturizer and then this one is serum I haven't tried the serum out yet but I did try the moisturizer on my face and I really liked how it felt um, I've never actually used any Clarence products before so I think I might after this run another thing that I I'm obsessed with is this jar of goodies from Luscious Touch UK and I was at The Hub recently and I went into the store and picked up a bunch of soaps um, some of which I had previously owned but ran out of and so I was restocking and I actually got two of these jars um, and I gave one to one of my really really good friends and what I just did is I chopped the soaps up into little pieces and now they sit pretty in a cute little jar. I don't know what it actually does if I mix them up. I don't know if it'll affect the other scents, but I think it's pretty, and um, I then I'm reminded to use different different ones whenever I please. Okay, so now we're done with like skincare products. On to beauty. I was lucky enough to receive some nice little MAC products. Um, the first being this eyeshadow palette, and it's called She's a Model. I quite like the colors. I think they're really simple and easy to use. Another thing I got was this Prep and Prime Transparent Finishing Powder. So the color at first really scared me because I thought I would end up looking ghostly, but it's been actually pretty good. Uh, and then the last one, actually I got a few more, but uh, they're all over the place. But another one that I did get that I've been really interested in trying out is this cream color base uh, that I believe you can use either on your cheeks or your eyes. Um, I've never really been a fan of cream products, to be honest. I feel like they go on funny on my skin and they don't really sit quite well or beautifully on my skin tone. Maybe I just haven't found the right colors, but I'm quite excited to try this one, especially around my cheek. Another um, set of products that I received that I'm actually going to be reviewing in a blog post are these City Color lipsticks. I'm going to be talking about nude lipsticks, so there are a bunch of different shades. And as well, I got this really cool City Color lip liner in the color Coco. So now that we're done with beauty, let's move on to fashion. Now I was at uh, Galleria Mall recently and walked into Mr. Price and they had a really cool sale. I'm all about that sale life, ladies and gentlemen. So I picked up these off-shoulder tops, which I actually have one like this in the color orange. Now this print isn't really my kind of print. It's not what I'd usually go for, but I like that it was, um, had this dark red color to it and that it had a floral print and it 
sort of reminds me of Dolce & Gabbana pieces. And I love that this one has a tribal feel to it as well. I also got this denim vest and this, oh, let me tell you guys, okay. Got it for 450 shillings. It was originally 2,800 shillings. Yeah, exactly. And then finally I got two rompers. I don't, I don't necessarily gravitate towards rompers at all. I think I only have one, but I really liked the, the denim one. And I don't know if you know, but denim seems to be making quite a comeback in the fashion arena. They're really cool and simple and it makes me really, really long for warmer days. I'm definitely over this rainy weather. I don't know if you know this, but I, I'm, I'm a really big fan of sandals. So I got these from uh, House of Leather. Now I'm not sure just how durable these babies will be, but for the few times that I will most likely get to wear them, I will be a happy camper. And it was only 500 shillings anyway, so. And with that, I'm going to move into homeware. Since I talked about House of Leather, I wanted to show you some of the things that I got for uh, the house from that store. And I really like it. I don't know if you frequent the store that often, but if you don't, I would highly recommend it. They have really quirky, interesting, different kind of pieces in there um, at really good prices too. So I got these two bowls, uh, 200 shillings each, and I love the rustic, sort of undone touch to these bowls. So I also got this set, again, really simple. I think it was 100 shillings each. How pretty, I love this color. It's such a beautiful teal color with uh, chocolate brown up at the top. I think it just makes me feel so warm and cozy, and I can really imagine like having hot chocolate with marshmallows up at the top it's so dreamy i love it now i also got myself a couple of pillows so i bought a pair of this uh kind of pattern which is simple black and white and then i also got this pattern from nakumat which uh they actually just sell the covers so you're gonna have to get yourself the cover and then if you don't have a cushion itself, then you need to buy it. I wish more brands actually did that, just sold covers, because I don't need to have, like, I don't know, like 50 pillows in the house. I just need a few, and then I need to be able to swap the covers without having to buy the pillow, if you know what I mean. Now, on to tech. If you follow me on Snapchat then, or Twitter, then I'm sure you remember, you've heard me complain about my laptop several times over the past four or five weeks or so and I was getting so frustrated it was slowly dying on me I'd had it for a while and it was secondhand um, as well so I don't know how long the previous owner had used it so I finally got myself a new laptop and I'm so excited there is nothing more satisfying than me being able to open an app a website just anything that you need a document um, within seconds, I'd forgotten just how quickly things operate in a normal world kind of setting. And then another thing in the tech department, I've never used before, but I am so excited to use, and I don't know if this will make me sound like such a geek or goofball. This is an Epson label maker, and you print out labels, which you can then stick on things that you need in order to identify a classifier, like organize your space. So if it's like your pantry and you, you, if you're the kind of person who likes to say um, remove items from the original package and put it into like cute jars like me, then it's great to be able to know that you can like mark what that this, what kind of flour this is or what kind of, um, I don't know, rice or pasta that is or maybe even print out expiration dates. But I am so excited to use this printer. If you follow me on Twitter, I'll let you know once I do the review. Is that it? Man, that's it. Okay, I guess that's it. I don't know why I thought it was so long, but um, but maybe the video is so long for some of you guys. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my fashion, beauty, tech, home, haul. Guys, how could I forget to mention? I have a new, I can't believe it. I can't believe I almost forgot, I almost forgot. But I have a collection with Vivo that's now in stores. I'm actually wearing a vest from the collection. Um, I will give a link to my blog post so 
you can get to go through the different pieces that are available or and I'll actually also link back to Vivo's website and then you can actually go see the pieces and the price and the different stores that you can go buy them from. If you do have the pieces and you wear them and put them out on social media, please use the hashtag this is us for Vivo so I can see you guys rocking the pieces. Um, keep warm, okay? Make sure you don't catch this nasty cold that I unfortunately caught. Take care of yourselves and I will see you guys soon. Bye.